Alright guys, it's Zanshi again with another installment of the PvP series. So, lately my... Lately the patch came out and the Moonlight Raids are dispatched, but... One of my friends was like... Hey, you heard? The, the Ruler Raids are just like the new Moonlight Raids that we enchanted with the Resonant Weapon buff. So I was like... Well, let me test that argument out. And here's the episode about it, basically. So, in this episode, it's more about about the raw damage I do with this weapon. Instead of anything else. I didn't really play anything that good. In this episode, however, I think I didn't even lose the match on the recordings. In general, I lost matches with this build, just not while I recorded. But yeah, this weapon deals quite some punch. I have to admit it with the moonlight and uh, with the with the resonant weapon buff. But you will see in the following fights. Like I said, this is mostly a a test of of damage, of raw damage. And here I use the the sunlight sword. I uh, know the sun sword. That's how it's called in this game. Just because I really like I really like the sun sword, guys. I mean, you could say it's like a nerfed version of the all the side rod from Dark Souls, and I really like how the pokes look in this game and on this weapon. So yeah, that's about that. But yeah, like I said, this is I think the only fight where I use this weapon instead of the Ruler Greatsword. So don't worry, the testing of stuff will continue pretty soon. But yeah, I mean. This alone, this is a full Havel guy, so my backstab only does around 1.1k, eh, uh, my repost. I still have to say, 1.1k against the full Havel guy, with such a small weapon. That's clearly the work of the buff, so the buff is pretty strong as itself. So I don't know if the ruler greatsword particularly makes, makes it even, like, makes it even stronger, let's say stronger the buff. Or if, let's say, a claimer would do the same job. Yeah, I don't know that. I haven't tested that out. But yeah, it does quite some damage when you hit with it. So that's that. And now some of you guys <laughs> surely are saying like, Well, man, it, you just seem to like those broken builds, don't you? That's why you present them to us. Well, and to be honest, not really, you know. I have fun playing with such broken builds where I don't really need any skill to win because the weapon does it all by itself. I enjoy playing like that for 20 minutes, uh, yeah, around 20 minutes. And then I normally just stop or switch the build, so I don't really like playing with such broken builds. But I like testing out stuff from time to time. Like I said, I, I, uh, in previous videos I did poise testing and all before before everything was known about it. So yeah, that's about this, I guess. So the other thing is that I think I will do more random invasions and random invasion videos than random arena videos in the future. I, I need to find like a place where you can be a bit lower level because this is 135. Of the, uh, the solo level of this build is 145 and that's my usual solo level I go nowadays. I started at 150, but I think 150 is way too high in my opinion, especially with spices. The only excuse to go 150 is if you're, <laughs> if you're too, f too, too lazy to get those spices, you have to farm them. <laughs> but otherwise you don't really need 150, I mean, the soul level, basically those standard soul levels were introduced back in Demon Souls, firstly to kinda, how would you say it? Well, to kind of limit yourself. Otherwise, we could just go max level, don't we? So yeah, that's why I like to stay a little lower. I mean, I could even go 120, I guess, just with those specific builds, like where you need to use a specific weapon that has a pretty well that uh, spread, like this weapon. It needs 20, 20, 16, 16. So that's not something I would usually go for a build. 
And that's most likely also the reason why people really use didn't reuse the weapon before it was said that this is the new Moonlight Greatsword with Crystal Magic Weapon, as long as you enchant the Resonant Weapon on it, because it has quite a weird spread, uh, stat spread. I really keep stumbling over this word, this combination. So, so yeah, it has quite a weird stat spread. And I guess that's what people usually, usually won't use that weapon, right? Because you need way less stats for the Defender Greatsword, the Throne Watcher Greatsword, the Drone Lay Greatsword, the Claymore. So yeah, that's why I guess people really weren't that keen on using that weapon before. But I actually don't know. Basically, as I said, I actually don't know. This is the reason why it said that it's now the new Moonlight Greatsword because people just randomly discovered that it is kind of useful. Or if it really got the buff with the last patch that were that wasn't in the patch notes because in the patch notes I did not see anything regarding the the ruler Greatsword. But like I said, that's well, that's something I can't know now. Like I said, this video was. Not done to research how this weapon, how the strength of this weapon came in the first place, but just to see the, the raw damage of this weapon in combination with the buff. And that's all. So, yeah, like I said, for the future, I plan to do more random lower level invasions around 50 or 30. The thing with this is that. Well, I most likely will get a friend to drop me some items for this. So I don't go over the soul memory. Yeah, that's the reason why I really don't like soul memory. It basically kind of negates the... Well, it negates the original design of PvP. Which, which wasn't any competitive, but you know, just invading others' worlds where they clear the game. But if you have soul memory, it pretty much negates that. Stuff. Because you are some someday you will have a too high soul memory to invade a certain area, and who wants to create? Let's say you have a level 30 invader. Who wants to create a level 30 build? Let's say every four weeks or so. Yeah. Well, I don't. So I will most likely get a guy to drop me some items that I need for it. The other thing I need to do for it is to, to actually find a place, yeah? really don't know a good place for that, for lower level invasions, because like I said, I don't want to invade at 135, 100, because that's the same as an arena then, yeah? But that's enough for today's episode, guys, so see you all for watching. I will see you in the next one.